Hi, Scorpio. It's me. It's Julia. How's my psychic mafia doing? <laughs> Sending you much love and many blessings. Thank you so much for all your love and support. You guys are amazing. Um, for those of you that are new, this is a Strictly Scorpio channel. If you like my style, if you like what I'm about, then go ahead and subscribe. And turn your notification bell to all, so that way you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Okay? Um, if you're looking for a live tarot card reading, I do have hand-picked tarot card readers. Uh, there are toll-free numbers for the USA, for the UK, and Canada. Mention my name, Julia, to get your first reading discounted. And Scorpio, during your birthday month, you do have a $10 off birthday reading waiting for you. All you got to do is just give your birth date or say Scorpio. All right? Now, you can also follow me over on Patreon, Facebook, and Instagram. On Patreon, I do have early access to bonus love readings for Scorpio weekly pick a card and VIP chat so you may want to check that out as well and if you're looking for official Scorpio squad merch like your t-shirts your sweatshirts your coffee mugs all that stuff the Teespring store below the video everything that you need is down below just click on show more UK you can send me an SMS message with your questions right and I can answer those for you because we're almost in the same time zone all right it could be about love romance career money all that kind of stuff, all right? All right, today is October the 13th. I can't believe it. We're almost in the middle of October. What happened? It's going so fast, right? Um, let's start with the um, whispers of love for you today, all right? I call upon my angels. I love you, Scorpio. I call upon my angels. I call upon the white light to come into this reading for Scorpio. In regards to their love life, what do they need to know? What do they need to know, dear angels? For Scorpio, please, for October the 13th. All right, Scorpio, you got a lot of messages here. For some reason, I feel like these messages are for a bunch of different Scorpios in the house. Ask for help. There may be somebody you need to reach out to, Scorpio. To give you a helping hand. And I feel this person will help you here. Okay? I know you don't like to ask for help, but this is one of those times that you need to do that. Okay? I also feel there may have been a riff in a connection that you have with somebody that was very special. Um, it's very important for the two of you to talk and to be honest with one another. Okay? About how you're feeling. Um, I feel like it's been a big misunderstanding here. Okay, that needs to get cleared up. All right. I'm also feeling that for some Scorpios here, there is a situation here where you are refusing to feel and think with your heart. You're trying to think logically about something. And your guidance here is to think with your heart. What is your heart telling you? What does your heart really want? And you need to take action towards that, okay? Mm -hmm. There is somebody here you need to forgive that you're not forgiving. And uh, you don't want to be the first one to reach out to forgive this person. Uh, I feel this person hurt you very badly. I feel they may have said things because they got frustrated because they really wanted to be with you. You don't want to be with them, so they lashed out on you. But you still need to be... Um, you still need to forgive this person, okay? Even if you just forgive them, that's all. And release it, Scorpio. Choose love. I feel, Scorpio, you're at a point in your life right now that it doesn't matter how anybody acts or what's going on around you. You're coming from a place of harmony, balance, and love, okay? That's just what you're doing. Um... And, you know, it's what you feel inside and what you're portraying outwards as well. You don't want to argue. You don't want to fight. You just you just want to be at peace and in harmony with yourself. Okay? Love is all around you. From your friends to your family members, from your kids. Okay? There is love all around you. Sometimes you get to the point though where you close yourself off where you are not paying attention to all those things. And this is a reminder that you need to. Romance. 
There is somebody in your life who's like a perfect fit for you. You know that, right, Scorpio? Somebody who you're very attracted to. It's kind of like I'm hearing, you know, it's kind of like hand and glove, that kind of connection. There's a lot of affection there. So maybe the two of you kind of need to work things out and find each other again. And maybe you really need to find your way back to what is it that you truly love? What truly inspires you? It could be a person, it could be a career, it could be something that you really want to do, a project. You need to go back to those things that truly mean a lot to you, Scorpio. Things that you truly love. It could be a particular individual. It looks like, because it says express love through gifts. And they don't have to be tangible gifts. Gifts come in all different kinds of ways, right? There is somebody in your life who's really missing your touch. Or maybe you're missing their touch. Or you, you're just dreaming about the day that you could just, you know, hold their hand, cuddle with them, share a kiss. Back to that first card about asking for help. Um, if it's not you asking for help, it may be somebody asking for your help here. And it's saying do something for someone. So maybe you need to really help someone here. Um, if it's not a person, it could be, you know, you helping the animals, nature, I don't know. But you're, you're being asked to do something for someone, something. You'll know what it means for you. I feel for a lot of Scorpios, you're ready to take action. Maybe going towards the person that you love. And it's saying that, you know, words are just words, but actions speak a lot louder. Could be somebody too who Scorpio may have promised you a lot of things, but never followed through and I feel that particular individual may actually be taking action now because they know that whatever they're going to say to you um, you're not going to believe all right let's go with the queen of moon oracle I call upon my angels I call upon the white light to come into this reading for Scorpio one card overturned here it is I got it it didn't fall we don't have anything that fell the path. There is a path that you know you need to go down, but you're being a little stubborn. It's calling your name. Spirit is saying, okay, well maybe you need to be a little patient, and maybe that's exactly what you're doing. Okay, but at some point you're going to need to take action, Scorpio, if you want to change your life. I feel that you are waiting to obtain more wisdom or information before you take action. Something inside of you is telling you to wait a little bit. You're just assessing right now. You're just watching what's going on out there before you take action. You need to know that whatever is happening right now, okay, that it's happening for a reason because you're protected. For Scorpio, please, for Scorpio. So it may feel like things are going in a different direction or things have majorly slowed down. Um, it's because maybe something needs to happen first before you take action. That's what I'm hearing. All right. So darkness. It's like it feels like things will go dark before they before the light comes yeah but you definitely have a path to go down okay right now it's very important for you to nourish yourself your health your abundance all the things that you want for yourself very important too to connect to the universe to what you believe in God Allah whatever you believe in 
they're inviting you. Have faith that whatever seeds you have planted in regards to your abundance, they will have growth. But it takes determination and it takes patience. And you need to be focused. You need to be focused and set some kind of um, schedule every day and stick with that schedule. It's a period right now, I feel, Scorpio, that you're doing a lot of self-reflection about everything. Your life, maybe your dealings with other people, someone in particular. For Scorpio, please, anything else? A lot of you are putting your focus. You've got a new beginning coming, Scorpio. A lot of you may be putting focus, too, on not only your physical health, but your outer beauty as well. That's one of your main focuses right now. Okay? I feel that through these changes that you're making, it's also going to make you very, very happy. Okay? And I'm also feeling, Scorpio, that you're learning to enjoy your life more. Okay, and, and you're trying to bring this positive change into your life. And it, that's when it happens, right? When you're loving on yourself, you're enjoying your life. And then just out of nowhere, right, this change happens. And what is this change? Hold on. Mm-hmm. The change is transformation. Card down, Scorpio. You go from feeling like this, from being in the void, to finding peace and spirituality on a higher level. So I feel like you're going through some kind of transformational uh, phase. Maybe you're ascending right now. All right, let's see what my deck wants to say. What messages do we have for Scorpio? I call upon the divine. I call upon the white light to come into this reading for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Okay, you're seeing a lot of things in your dreams lately. Okay, it's very important right now that you get all your chakras balanced. And, of course, balance came out next. Honestly discuss your feelings and how you feel. Maybe about how you feel, the choices that you're making for yourself. Really be honest with yourself as well. Um, you may have to have a conversation with a divine feminine here, who you have a connection with. Um, this divine feminine may be an empress. Um... You're marrying one another right now. But I feel you're both ready to take a leap of faith when it comes to your life. You want adventure. You want something new. You're very passionate about a new beginning here. It's what you want. And you're totally looking into the future here. For Scorpio, what other messages do you have for Scorpio? Here we go. Okay, Scorpio, here's another message. Mm -hmm. Okay, you may have somebody here who may be healing from heartache in regards to a marriage here. They're going through some kind of transformation. I think whatever has been going on here has been hidden from you, Scorpio. You had no idea. It's telling you to be patient for your divine masculine. They are coming. Okay, there is abundance and a reunion that will happen in the near future. 
For Scorpio, what other messages do you have for Scorpio, please, for today? Spirituality, loyal, there's a very spiritual connection you may have with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. There is love there. You do love this person. Um, you're thinking about them a lot, Scorpio. They could be a friend of yours. Or they could be thinking about you right now. This friend does bring you a lot of happiness. Or they may see you as their happiness. Okay. So someone is really trying to control um, or stopping themselves from making a choice here. Okay. But the thing is, is that they have the knowledge and the intuition in order to change this situation from a friendship to a loving relationship. Somebody may be holding back from doing that. Maybe because they have other choices. Okay. We also see here that um, there's some nervousness about starting a brand new chapter here. Okay. It could be this empress here for some of you. I feel this Empress is just manifesting to find peace right now. There is a message that's coming towards you. Or you will be giving a message about traveling to go see someone. I also feel that uh, somebody is getting downloads right now about healing a situation. Okay, but they need to open up. And you need to trust um, that this person, you'll know who this person is. It's somebody who inspires you, Scorpio. You need to trust that they do have feelings for you. And they are grateful for you being in their life, just like you're grateful for them being in your life. Um, this particular connection will trigger abundance in your life and a lot of um, creativity as well. It's like I see the two of you working together. For others of you, um, somebody needs to release a karmic Virgo or Gemini, somebody who you believed was a twin flame, okay? Um, I feel here that um, it could be the same friend that needs to release this connection, okay? There's a situation for a particular Scorpio right now, the message just came, that you may have a special connection with somebody, but the divine is, is um, deliberately separating the two of you right now. Maybe because one of you is just not ready yet. You know, spirit will not bring two divines together unless they're both ready. All right, I call upon my angels, I call upon the white light to give clarity and guidance to Scorpio. All right, here we go, Scorpio. Let's see what this is about. Crow spirit, co-create with spirit. So you're being asked to co-create with spirit. Trust the divine, right? That they will lead you down the right path you need to go down. Wow, and taking a leap of faith. So they want you to take a leap of faith. They're behind you on this. To do something different. To start your life over. Okay? Um, they're also saying that if there's any obstacle in your way, Scorpio, you need to overcome it now. Okay? And push through it. And magic works through you with the scarab beetle spirit. So, I'm really feeling, Scorpio, here, it's, what do you want for your life? What do you believe is possible? Because I feel you hold the key to this magic that wants to come into your life, if you allow it in. And, of course, lizard spirit, look at this. Dream the world into being the world that you want for yourself, not what anybody else expects. What do you want? 
And that's what you should be focused on right now, Spirit is saying. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Sending you much love and many blessings. And I will see you again tomorrow. Loving kisses.